And still, Mackie wavered. Bystanders gathered and seemed to grow agitated. It appeared as if rescue crews weren't doing anything and there wasn't a rescue boat in sight. Suddenly, Matthew jumped. That's when medical student and former lifeguard Garrett Couples made a daring split-second decision to go in after him without any rescue equipment. Garrett scanned the shore for rescue workers as he screamed for help. Stephen and Garrett towed Matthew to shore, where they expected rescue workers to be waiting with resuscitation equipment. It was then that officials appeared to start scrambling. And you never pass judgment on someone, whether they're troubled and they'd like to, you know, hurt themselves. Your job is really not to pass that judgment. That's for somebody else. And, and your job is to do the, what you're trained to do to help. Um, and that's what I believe. Hi, I'm Mike Conrath from the Standing Paraplegic OR Device Group. We're a team of five senior biomedical engineering students from the University of Wisconsin-Madison, led by Professor Amit Nimankar. Last fall, we heard about Dr. Couples' story and we were captivated. We heard about his heroism and his tragedy, and ever since then, we've been determined to get him back into the operating room. That is why, over the last year, we have spent hundreds of hours designing the Standing Paraplegic Omnidirectional Transport, affectionately called SPOT.